Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We invite you guys to come and join us. Let's jam. Let's jam. I'm extremely wealthy now. I'm extremely wealthy now. And so successful. And so successful. Come join us. Enjoy endless bliss now. Enjoy endless bliss now. Now and always. Now and always. Yes. I'm extremely wealthy now. I'm extremely wealthy now. And so successful. And so successful. Enjoying endless bliss now, enjoying endless bliss now, now and always, now and always. All together, we extremely wealthy now, we extremely wealthy now, and so successful, and so successful. Enjoying endless bliss now, enjoying endless bliss now, now and always, now and always. Well done, well done, guys. Well done, well done. <laughs> And having said that, happy, happy blissful, blissful day, blissful, blissful beings. beings. If you're new you're here, my name is Gabriel and welcome back to our channel. And my name is Kylie and thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, especially commenting. We love interacting with you all, hearing mm. your success stories, yeah. getting ideas for future videos. Yeah. We absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So in today's video, we just want to share with you guys that money is just a tool that responds to your inner world. So in other words, money is just a tool that responds to your mind, which is your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs about money, your assumptions about money and your perceptions about money. Now you may ask, okay, what does that mean? So all you need to do is just have a look at your bank account now and that will tell you exactly what your thoughts your feelings your assumptions and your beliefs and perceptions are about money right just have a look at it and you don't have to judge yourself it's fine because guess what you are the creator of your bank account you are the operant power whatever you say goes and that's the good news so now that you are clear what your relationship is about money you really want to ask yourself so how did i grow up around money mm -hmm. what beliefs did i adopt when i grew up about money how did my family behave around money mm -hmm. how do i feel if i have to pay a bill right now how do I feel if I think about money? Just the thought of me seeing a bill or um, having to pay someone, how does that make me feel? You see, all these questions will give you an idea where you're at. As a matter of fact, this is actually our prep work for our mastermind. So in our mastermind, we have you really just analyze how you grew up around money mm -hmm. what beliefs did you adopt around money how did your family respond around money how are you now around money and then what we do have you do is we have you do revision and we have you rewrite that entire story mm -hmm. around money and you know what revision does it changes the past and the timeline that is freaking awesome like i can quickly just share with you guys right i grew up very poor you know my old story was we always had to ask neighbors for sugar for oil for food there was never enough money you know if money came it always left as quickly as possible and whenever the subject of money was brought up it was always sensitive there was always anxiety you know it was like ah, you don't want to talk about it it's like you know we actually saw money as this monster this buggy monster that's gonna <laughs> eat you you know but yet money is just a tool mm -hmm. money is like a hammer you know a hammer is neutral mm -hmm. you don't put the hammer on a pedestal mm -hmm. you don't even get anxiety with the hammer or the screwdriver mm. you know you don't like 
you know, it's like you, you see the screwdriver for what it is, a tool. Exactly. You see, like, especially when you look at, as we said, you know, money is just a tool. And like these tools, like a hammer, screwdriver, like if you think of literal tools, they just help you accomplish a goal. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can hang up a picture on the wall. You can build a table mm. or whatever it might be. Maybe just like unscrew the back of a device. Mm. You know, it's just... It just helps you to do something. Mm. As Gabriel said, it's a very neutral feeling with a tool. You're not desperate for a hammer. No, you, you're just like, oh, I'm going to need a hammer because I want the picture. Yeah. You know, usually there's something that we want that's behind the money. Mm. We're so desperate for money, but really, oh, no, we're desperate to have that freedom. Exactly. We're desperate to have that beauty in our life. We're yeah. desperate to have other things that money might be able money. to afford exactly. us, those feelings. Exactly. And so really, money doesn't belong on this pedestal mm -mm. that so often we place it on. Mm -mm. It doesn't belong up there, it's just a tool. Yeah. And if we can get ourselves to a place where it's very neutral, yeah. that's when money works in our favor. Exactly. And that's really, as Gabriel said, that first prep week for prep work for the mastermind, it's really just saying, okay, how can we get you to a place where Money is a neutral feeling. Mm. It's not, I'm desperate for it. Yeah. It's not, oh, I need it. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, I want the money. No, we don't actually even need the money because mm. money is just to afford us things mm. or experiences or feelings. And that's actually what we're after in life. Exactly. You know, and uh, when you do rewrite your story, your old story to your new and when, because remember, whatever you say in your mind you are because consciousness is the only reality so if you tell your mind right now that i grew up wealthy i grew up abundant you know we always had more than enough i'm extremely wealthy now i'm extremely wealthy <laughs> now and so successful and so successful enjoying endless bliss now you tell yourself right that that means that you are and you remain faithful to that new story you do not waver, you remain faithful and you saturate your mind with that new story, it has to show up. But you have to remain faithful because remember, you are already remaining faithful to your old story. You know the mm -hmm. old story that you told yourself early on yesterday, last week and last month about money? You're very faithful to it. You're faithful to it <laughs> and you saturate your mind with it. You're already doing it right now. Yep. So why don't you just switch it to your desire? saturate your mind mm. and how you do that is by gratitude i'm so happy and grateful now that i'm wealthy and abundant i'm so happy and grateful now that i always have more than enough i'm so happy and grateful i always receive millions out of the blue thousands out of the blue hundreds out of the blue i'm so happy and grateful that that i'm the epitome of wealth and abundance yeah and i think that's such a, an important point not to miss what you just said even for myself i thought wow yes mm. that you are unwaveringly faithful to your current story yeah you do not budge you repeat it you saturate yourself in mm. your current story yeah because a lot of people say how do i remain faithful to the new mm. like well you are the most faithful to your <laughs> old yes and so you use those same principles yes. where you're always thinking about it yeah it always comes up you feel a certain way it's that same you're already unwaveringly faithful mm. now you just switch to what you're faithful to exactly you just switch remain faithful to that saturate your mind with that every single day uh, how you do that is by gratitude because gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership mm -hmm. you can only say thank you to something that you have when you remain grateful you're now in a state of mm -hmm. abundance and when you're in a state of abundance you're no longer in a state of lack and when you're grateful that's where the God within you or the universe, whatever you want to call it, that's when it just flourish all these different gifts in the forms of money, you know, lottery wins, uh, clients, um, whatever it is. It's the abundance. Sometimes it's, it's not abundance. even the money because again, the money mm. is just the tool. Mm. And so sometimes like when you can manifest a free trip instead of money that you have to save up to get yeah. that trip, mm -hmm. you manifest the trip, mm -hmm. you manifest the freedom, you manifest yeah. the abundance and the money comes because it's, it's oh that's what you want here's a tool to help you get there mm -hmm. it's right. the most incredible thing exactly so there you have it guys it's only a tool and 
as we shared with you, all you need to do is change your old story, remain faithful to your new story, and saturate your mind to your new, with your new story uh, with gratitude, and you will see that your 3D reality will respond. Mm -hmm. And for those that actually want to join us in our Manifestation Mastermind. So our Money Manifestation Mastermind is designed to actually change your entire story, mm -hmm. become one with the frequency of abundance, and take money off that pedestal and say, money, you are now my pet. You follow me wherever I go. You do whatever I say. You love me. You always spoil me. You worship me. And thank you so much, money. You now take money out of that, of that pedestal. And money says, okay, not a problem. We're now having an awesome relationship. It's so a and mutual this relationship. Mutual, mutual relationship. And check you guys. We also will be supporting you daily on the Vox app. That alone is priceless. So every day you're going to hear from us on the Vox app just to remind you that you are now your ideal, to remind you that you are the open power, to also keep you accountable and, you know, most importantly, to celebrate your daily wins. For five weeks, <laughs> we're going to work together. Five weeks. This is not only going to be a transformational experience but a fun experience as well because we are all about fun mm -hmm. manifestation is a fun process because mm -hmm. it proves to you that you're the creator you're the magician of your life <laughs> and magicians usually have fun you always see them laughing always. always seeing them having a good time they always have fun so if this video speaks to you click on the link below join us because we are live already we're starting on tuesday you do not want to miss out this opportunity. This is going to transform your relationship with money forever. Exactly. And having said that, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. And enjoy your blissful day. And keep smiling. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.